Welcome back to another Cal's Clip video. And if you didn't know, we're on the road to a million subscribers by the end of the year. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and then we'll get started with this video. So today's video is one where I ask you guys for your assumptions about me so we can get to know each other just a little bit better. We can become closer than we were before. On my Instagram, at CalFreezy. It used to be at real CalFreezy, but I pulled some strings and we're working with just CalFreezy now. This one here is from TomoF1. And he says, you have no wheel knowledge. Now, that is an assumption. I have a mediocre level of wheel knowledge. I am into F1, but I'm not one of them nerds that can go back to 2006 and tell you what the podium was in Brazil and what lap times everyone was doing for each individual lap, all right? That is not me. But I like to think I kind of know a little bit about F1, enough to have a conversation with someone about F1, all right? Free up Daniel Ricciardo. <laughs> Another one here from a fella named Rory Harper. He says, you sit down to take a piss. That is false. I quite enjoy being at a urinal with a lot of other men and having a conversation about the football. I feel like it's a moment of vulnerability that men don't often feel. Make of that what you will. You have a long but skinny schlong. I wouldn't say it's skinny, but it resembles me. It resembles me. Down to earth, sick, sick Donny, no ego, just pure vibes. That unfortunately is false. I do have an ego. It's not a massive ego, but it's there. I think everybody should have some form of an ego though. I think anyone that says they don't have an ego is just lying because everyone has pride in work that they do and that is to do with your ego, all right? So yeah, uh, we got another one here. It said, you're a massive baghead. Thank you very much, Louis Gibson for that one. Um, no, I am not a massive baghead. Uh, I can't say the same for the people around me. You and Harry secretly had sex. Me and Harry have I've never engaged in sexual intercourse or any sexual act. I'm sorry to anybody on Wattpad or any of those other fanfic sites. It just didn't happen and it, it will never happen. You clap when the plane lands. You know what? I, I have done this before, right? But only as a joke. But I now feel as though like that joke's been rinsed now. I am now just one of them. But I, I, I try and make a, I don't do it. But there's some cultures where they'll, they'll do it like all the time. Like every time I used to land in Russia, when I lived in Russia and we would fly back from the UK and we would land, everybody clapped, but it was, it was different because that flight, it went with an airline called Aeroflot and it was genuinely a life-threatening airplane that you would take. So clapping was more, not so much like a congratulations to the pilot, it was more like it's a celebration of life. So two very different things. Um, that's maybe where I picked it up from. You are secretly in love with cameraman Sam. Look, me and him, we go a long way back and I have a lot of love for cameraman Sam, but sadly he is not a mistress or uh, or anything like that. You're a sloppy drunk. I'm not actually. I'm not a sloppy drunk compared to most people. I mean, there's obviously the time where there's like me drunk and then there's me like just completely finished and everybody is sloppy in that completely finished stage. But as, as far as drunk goes, I am not a sloppy drunk. You wake up at two o'clock every day. I don't. I am a man that gets up just before, I, I would say around, well, it depends what I'm doing. If I've got a golf lesson in the morning, I'm up at seven, but for the most part, if I'm just coming into the office, I'll get up at 8.30, out the door by 9.30 in the office for around 10, 10, 15. You're actually incredibly rude and stuck up in real life. I, I'm very much a person of the energy I get from someone, I give back to them. So if someone comes up to me and is quite rude, they will often probably get that back. If they come up, hello, please, thank you, both goes both ways, you know what I mean? Like if there's manners involved, there's manners involved. It all depends on how you're approached. And unfortunately, a lot of people probably do think that I'm rude. Little do they know that they were actually being a massive pagan themselves. So there you have it. The, the energy is reciprocated and that's the way I, I, I tend to do things. You're low key tired of the side men. No, I think actually, in fact, it's the opposite. Recently, I have been watching more and more side men content than ever before because I feel like it's never been this good before. So if anything, honestly, it, it's the opposite. You were a kid who hit puberty in year three. I was a late bloomer. Like I got rinsed because I didn't have like thick leg hair. Isn't that weird? I, I, I hit puberty so late that I didn't have like proper leg hair and I used to get rinsed for that. Imagine that, like what sort of Tory bullshit is that? Someone said, you're not a true Scotsman. I'm not too sure what qualifies as a true Scotsman. I mean, I am half Scottish and half English. So, I mean, I guess I don't come from a fully Scottish family and that's fine. So I guess maybe I'm not 
not a true Scotsman, but I, I live there and my mother's side of the family is from Scotland, so I'm, I'm a half Scotsman. You don't like tea. I actually enjoy a cup of tea, but I'm not one of those guys that will sit down and just like, Harry is a tea guy. This guy will have a cup of tea with everything. There was never a moment where he would ever say no to a cup of tea. I actually think if they served a cup of tea in nightclubs, he would opt for that, but that's not me. You hate Vicstar123. In fact, it is very much the opposite. Vicstar is uh, one of my favorite people and I love that he just does his own shit regardless of what people think. And I think that's a really important quality to have. You're a drug dealer. No, no, that's just called being a YouTuber. Benjamin Simpson here says you don't talk much with the troops off camera. That is very false. We have multiple group chats and I am so active in all of them. I talk a lot with the boys every single day. Honestly, like most hours of the day. Asila K says you sleep with a teddy. No, I don't sleep with a teddy, but I do sleep with a pillow. I like to hold on to a pillow while I sleep. I just think that's quite nice. It's because I like when a pillow's cold and when a pillow gets warm, I just sack it off. But the, like, it's like the cold sided side of a pillow. Everybody loves that side. That is just primo. Looks like a horse, hung like a horse. I'll take it. I will take that, sir. You still want to become a Sidemen member. I probably get this every week. Someone messages me saying, it's so obvious you want to be part of Sidemen. In all honesty, do you not think that if we were eight, uh, I mean, how long have they been to? Eight years? Something, something ridiculous. You don't think that we would have already got past that point. I have no interest in disrupting what amazing stuff they've got going on there. I, I used to get that ass on podcasts all the time as well. And I was just there like, is it possible to be friends with someone without being part of what they're doing? I love what they're doing. And I honestly think if I stepped in, I joined, things would just be different. It wouldn't be the Sidemen. The Sidemen of the Sidemen is because it's the same seven guys. They've had opportunities plenty of times to add people in, people with loads of subscribers, all this sort of stuff, but they haven't. And that's for good reason. And I think everybody should see that that is what works. You actually see Chip as more of a younger brother. And so take on the role of his carer. You make it sound like this guy deserves to be in a home. No, I don't see Chip as a younger brother. I see him as a, um, just as a brother, actually, in general. There's times where I'll give him advice, he gives me advice, we help each other in that way. There's certain things that I definitely am better at helping him out with, and then there's certainly things that I'll reach out to him and ask for him and his advice, opinions on certain things as well. So it goes both ways. Jay Moranchel 56 says, you will try to end speed at the charity match. I have no, I have no idea what what speed's gonna be like at this charity match. Uh, I'm so excited to see him play. And yeah, like, you know, we've seen clips of him play football, right? But you have to remember, this isn't like a football match. Has this guy ever played a 90 minute match? I don't know. I'm nervous for him. His his ability is, you know, it's up in the bait. You know, if anything, this charity match should be a moment where speed can prove to all of the haters, everybody out there, that this guy is a serious baller. So make sure you tune into that charity match, watch it and make sure you donate as well. It's gonna be a sick, sick, event. You are a secret Muslim. No, I am not a secret Muslim. I am not, I am not into any particular religion. Maybe in, in later in life, I might be awoken and I might become religious. But for now, I am, I am chilling. I believe in, in Cal Freezy the girl. Ray Fitness 95 says you wear Dior Sauvage. No, I don't wear Dior Sauvage. Yeah, I just don't wear that. You think Talia is too good for Simon? Uh, no, I do not think that. I think they are wonderfully suited. What a very niche thing to say. It's almost like Habib Khan here is uh, is projecting. It's almost like he's wanting to get his opinion off and try to put it on his mind. Um, I think they're both perfect for each other and they both bring different things to the table, which I, I think is really important in a relationship. You secretly prefer Gemma Owen to Ekinsu. That is false, unfortunately. I am a massive Ekinsu fan. Actually, I'm more of an Ekinsu and Davide fan as a, as a unit together, not individually. Gemma Owen and she did a thing, but for me, there, there's only two goats of the show and that's Ekinsu and Davide, man. Another assumption here is you try too hard to be cool. Uh, maybe I give that vibe off, but I really don't try to be cool. I just, I, I try to look nice. I want to look nice, but I don't really know what like being cool is. I feel like in school, you try to be cool to fit in. I think I'm now at a stage where if I haven't fit in yet or I haven't made friends yet, then, then that time has passed really. I, I have my group of friends and I like to think that they would be friends with me regardless of what I was wearing. I don't really know what you mean by cool anymore. Like, is cool what you're wearing, is it? But no, sorry, Eddie. Priv underscore Isha. I guess I've just exposed someone's private account. I'm not sure. But they said, you want kids? Of course I want kids. I, I absolutely want kids. I want two kids, a boy and a girl, an older brother. 
and a younger daughter. But I'm honestly not too bothered. Uh, I, I used to think, oh, I definitely want like two sons to be brothers. Uh, but I honestly, at this point, I really don't mind. I just think having kids, having kids is, is part of the circle of life. I could not imagine going my life without having kids. So yeah, absolutely something I wanna, I wanna do. Again, this priv person says the hate gets to you, but you don't like to make it obvious. Honestly, you would be surprised. I think when I was, I started YouTube when I was like 15 or 16 and the hate that I got back then was immeasurable. Like I am pretty sure most people ain't making it out of the shit that I went through when I first started YouTube. And I think in a weird way that has just built this like bulletproof armor leading up. And honestly, I, I, I promise you when I see like these comments, it doesn't do anything anymore. Cause a lot of people, when they speak about like the horrible things that are said online, they say that like it will ruin their day. And I absolutely don't doubt that, um, especially people that are new to it. And then they say like the, the good comments just get overlooked. But for me, it's actually been the complete opposite. It's got to the point where I don't notice those bad comments and I really focus on the good ones. And it sounds weird to say because it's usually the complete opposite what people go through. But I think it genuinely is because let me tell you, the first three years of YouTube was rough as fuck. I used to get so much stick for how I looked, how I sounded. I was squeaking into the mic, right? And then just like my general, my general personality and attitude in front of the camera, people just didn't like it, which is fine. But yeah, like, it, trust me, nothing, nothing what is said now compares to what the, what, what that was like. And it, it created this thick skin that I have now. We'll do a couple more here and then we'll wrap this up. Hossam says, you sold your channel to a company. Wow, that's an interesting one. I've never, I don't actually know a you, actually I do know of YouTubers that have done this. I have not done it. My channel belongs to me and me entirely. Um, all my channels belong to me. Yep, that, that's not the case for me. Oh, this is an interesting one from Ellie Parnelli. Okay, she says, you wish you were closer with the guys in the beta squad. I guess that, well, I mean, I'd like to be like better friends with them. They seem like, honestly, like such genuine nice guys. I don't sort of wish I was closer to them. I wish I saw them more. That's, that's what I'd like to see because I like being around them. They give off good vibes. Um, so I do wish I'd see them more, but they also live like quite far away. And the only time I really get a chance to see these guys is usually at events or things like that, which is fine. But yeah, you're right. They're, they're, they're awesome guys. And I would actually like to see them more often. Anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap it up there. There's some really interesting assumptions. Thank you guys to everyone that was on my Instagram at CalFreezy. You guys can give that a follow. If you are new around here on this channel though, make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.